Hey guys, Justin my kayak catfish and tonight's video I'm going to talk about two of the most common rigs I use for catfishing and I'm going to talk about why I use each of them depending on the situation. So first rig I'm going to talk about is this right here. This is the Carolina rig. The Carolina rig you have your sinker down to a swivel down to your leader line and then finally it's completed with your hook. The next rig I'm going to talk about is the knocker rig. And the knocker rig is kind of the similar to the Carolina rig with the difference being instead of your sinker sitting on top of your swivel on the main line, it's actually on your leader and sets directly above the hook. Now, why do I use these? Okay, so back in 2017, I know a lot of you all have been following my channel for a while. Thank you for sticking with me these last few years here. But back in 2017, if you were watching my channel then, you know I switched from the Carolina rig to the knocker rig for suspend fishing while drifting and trolling. And the reason I made that switch was because I needed something that would allow me to better control my depth in those situations on windy days. When I was drifting and trolling in the kayak, you know, the kayak by its nature, it's, it sets up high off the water, a fishing kayak does, so you naturally catch a lot of wind, and the kayak, it's a lightweight vessel, right? So it doesn't take a whole lot of wind to really get you moving. And when I was using the Carolina rig, and of course when you're suspend fishing, keep in mind your baits are down directly underneath the kayak. It's just suspended there, just two to three feet off the bottom is where I like my baits to be. Well, when you get a big gust of wind hit you or just a sustained wind that lasts you know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds a minute, whatever, you can get what I call a pendulum effect with your baits. When the kayak really gets moving, your baits will start rising up on the water like a pendulum. And your bait that was two feet off the bottom, well now it could be five, 10, sometimes 15 feet off the bottom in certain situations, depending on how hard the wind's blowing. So, that's no good when you're suspend fishing. You have to be able to control your depth. Depth control is everything while suspend fishing. So I needed a rig that could help keep my baits down. And that's why I went to the knocker rig. With the knocker rig, you know, this is a, a bottom fishing rig for saltwater. But the advantages for suspend fishing in a kayak, what I liked about it is one, you're using a much heavier sinker. And two, it sets directly on top of the hook. So you're not getting, because of the heavier sinker, you're not getting as big a pendulum effect when that wind gust hits you. And the other thing too is because your sinker sets on top of the hook, your bait is immediately back down. Unlike with the Carolina rig, when your speed dies down from the wind and your sinker drops back down, you get a lag time with your bait falling down. With the knocker rig, it's right back down there where you want it. So I felt like the knocker rig would allow me to control my depth better regardless of how what the wind was doing when I was out there drifting and trolling. So I made the switch and I love the rig. I've been using it since 2017. I know a lot of you all expressed concerns at the time that the sinker setting on top of the hook would interfere with hook sets and, and catching fish. In my experience, uh, using it the last couple of years, that really hasn't been the case. Now common sense and logic would say at some point in time, yes, a big sinker setting directly above your bait you are going to miss a fish or you're not going to get a good hookup because of it. Common sense and logic, like I said, will we'll say that. But in my own experience, my hookup ratios are about the same with the knocker rig as what they were with the Carolina rig. So I have continued to use it because I felt like the benefits on dealing with the wind and also another added benefit uh, for the knocker rig is just when you get hung, right? When I'm out there drifting and trolling, you all watch my videos, you know I like to tinker on my phone. And so sometimes I'm not necessarily paying attention to my depth. And if it comes up kind of, you know, if I've got my bait suspended a couple feet off the bottom and the depth quickly changes and comes up two or three feet, well, now my hook's dragging bottom. And in that situation, you get hung. And when you're using heavy line in a kayak, it's hard to break off. Just because of the buoyancy of the kayak, it's hard to get leverage and break heavy line. So it's best not to get hung as, as little as possible. That's, you know, you don't want to get hung. So with the Carolina rig and your sinker up here, when you get hung and you're popping your line up and down, your sinker is hitting all around. With the knocker rig, you pop your line up and down, your sinker is hitting directly on the hook and it's going to help pop it free from the snag. So I was finding that when I would get snagged with the knocker rig, I was able to get my rig back much more easily than what I was with the Carolina rig. So because of the ability to break the snags free with the knocker rig and like I said, controlling my depth better, when on the windy days, I felt like the knocker rig, the advantages of it would offset those occasional fish I might lose just because of the big sinker above the hook. So that's why I've stuck with it the last couple years. 
for drifting and trolling. And that kind of gets me into why I'm filming this video because I've had a lot of questions the last few months. People leave them down in the comment boxes of videos and send me messages through email, Facebook, Instagram, etc. People wanting to know why I have switched back to the Carolina rig when suspend fishing. And the reason I switched back this year is because I've been doing this year long experiment. If you've followed my website, I've posted articles about this, trying to overcome the inefficiencies of anchor fishing and a kayak and also too just I wanted this year I wanted to instead of drifting and trolling and covering huge sections of, of the water while I'm out there I wanted to really key in and put my baits on one spot and sit there and wait and compare this year to previous years when I've covered a great deal of water to see would I catch more or less fish would I catch more or less big fish trophy size fish would I catch more or less flatheads etc and so I talk about all that on my website so I won't hash that out here but because this year, because I'm anchored down suspend fishing, I haven't really needed the knocker rig, right? So the two big advantages of the knocker rig was dealing with the wind and snags. And when I'm anchor fishing while suspend fishing, I'm not, I'm not dealing with those issues, right? Because I'm anchored, even if the wind's blowing, it can only blow the kayak so far before my anchor rope catches. And so I'm not getting those huge sways, those big pendulum effect, and my bait's coming high up off the bottom. That's just not happening. So I don't need the knocker rig for that situation. And then two, dealing with snags, well, I'm not moving. My depth isn't changing, so I'm not getting snagged on bottom. So therefore, there's really no reason to use the knocker rig in that situation. So it's not that I've given up on the knocker rig or I don't like the knocker rig. That's not it at all. On the days where I'm out drifting and trolling with suspended baits, you're going to see me continue to use the knocker rig because that's, like I said, my preferred rig in that situation. But for the videos I've been doing this year where I'm suspending baits while anchored, the Carolina rig is kind of the go-to rig for me because, you know, again, it, uh, I don't have any issues with the wind. I don't have any issues getting snagged in that situation. So there's no reason to use the knocker rig. So hopefully that will kind of clear up the confusion. And I know... You know, a lot of you have been following me for uh, since the beginning of this channel. I don't know how you have stuck with me this long, but I'm truly appreciative that you all have. And I know that was kind of a question with some of you. And so when I'm getting asked the same question 87 times, it's, it's much more efficient for me to film a video and answer it for everybody one time versus typing out a response every time I get asked the question. So hopefully that helps clear it up and kind of explain why I use each depending on the situation, whether I'm drifting or trolling or anchored. So hopefully that clears it up if it didn't if there's anything i left out or didn't go with much of the depth on as what you would have liked hit me up in the comments below i'll answer any question you have thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one